Diana, what time is it? It's 8.30. Get up and have breakfast. Oh, my God. I'm going to be late. My boss is going to kill me. Chill out, Frank. It's Sunday. What's wrong with you? You don't have to go to work today. Oh, right. Oh, what a relief. I was just dreaming that I was at work doing a presentation. That's why I thought it was Monday. You have been working too much lately. Maybe you shouldn't have taken a part-time job, too. You need to slow down and start taking care of yourself. I need to supplement our income to be able to pay the mortgage for our house. I understand, but your health is important, too. Don't worry. It's only temporary. I'll be fine. What would you like to drink? Tea? Coffee? I'd love a cup of coffee, please. Coffee. Okay. Here you go. Help yourself to milk and sugar. Thanks. What would you like for breakfast? Do we have any yogurt and fruit? We have yogurt, but we don't have much fruit, I'm afraid. Just apples. Okay. I'll have yogurt and an apple, please. And would you like some eggs and sausages? Oh, yes, please. One egg or two? Two. Two eggs. Okay. Diana, burglaries in our neighborhood have been on the rise, and we need to do something to protect ourselves. You're right. I heard that some robbers ripped off a few cars in our neighborhood. We were lucky that it didn't happen to us, too. What can we do? We should install a security door and a burglar alarm. Burglars hate noises, so even a small alarm usually sends them running. Yeah, that's a very good idea. We should also buy security cameras. These tell burglars that someone is watching, and they'll think again before trying to break in. We can also add exterior lights and motion detectors. Yeah, that's great. What about the windows? How can we secure them? Burglars break into the house through the windows many times. We can secure them with simple window locks. Wonderful. I'll take care of everything. Frank, we've just suffered a power outage. What should I do now? Oh, rest easy. I'm going to guide you through the whole thing. First of all, you need to check to see if other neighbors are affected too. Okay. No, it seems that the outage is only affecting our home. Okay. Then you need to take the flashlight and go down to the basement and check the fuse box. But where is the flashlight? It's in the hallway, on top of the coat rack. Oh yeah, I remember. I've seen it there before. Okay, I'm going to the basement now. The fuse box is to the left of the stairs. Can you see it? Yes, I've found it. Now open the door and look inside to find any breakers that have turned off. Yes, I can see one breaker that is turned off. Perfect. To reset the breaker, simply turn it back to the on position. It worked. Thank goodness. The lights are back on. Amy, you haven't eaten your sandwich. Look, Tim and Judy have eaten theirs. But Daddy, I'm not hungry. I'm going to eat later, I promise. Can I go and play with Tim and Judy? Okay, I suppose you can. Yippee! Amy is such a picky eater. It's tough to get her to eat sometimes. 
Well, I think you shouldn't force her if she's not hungry. I don't know about that. I never allowed Tim to leave the table until he finished his food. But kids might feel sick if they are forced to eat when they're not hungry. I don't think so. You have to be strict right from the beginning. Or they just get into bad habits. I see what you mean. I've never been strict with Judy, and she eats anything. All you have to do is make the mealtime fun. They may be more likely to eat the food if they help in some way. I see your point. I must admit, we never allow Amy in the kitchen when we're cooking. Quite right, too. It's not safe in the kitchen for a small kid. Yeah, I'm on the same page with you. I think it's safe, as long as you're there guiding the child. I should imagine it slows everything down if they're helping you. Okay, yes, but on the other hand, they're developing important skills. I can't argue with that. Well, I'm still not convinced. What can a five-year-old do to help in the kitchen? Pouring liquids into batter? Measuring and mixing ingredients? Washing vegetables and fruit? Putting things in the trash after cooking? Things like that. I don't think little boys are interested in that kind of thing, do you? You'll never find out if he's interested unless you give it a go. Maybe he loves to cook. I suppose you've got a point there. Jack, can you tidy up the living room, please? It's nearly three o'clock, and this room is a complete mess. There's stuff all over the floor. Your parents will be here soon. Yeah, sure I will. I've used up all my energy cooking. Then I discovered the wash basin was clogged up in the bathroom, so I had to clear that. Now I am too tired to do anything. You can rest assured I'll clean it up before my parents arrive. It looks better now, right? I even did the laundry and took out the trash. Oh, great. You did a terrific job. I still need to hang this picture on the wall. Let me give you a hand. Okay, just take that end. Got it? Yes. One, two, three, lift. There. It's not straight. Lift it a bit on the left. There you go. Done. It looks good. Hello, darling. Sorry we're late. I missed you both so much. We missed you too. It's so good to see you. We would have been here sooner if your mom had been able to read a map. I can read a map, Andrew. But you never give me time to look at it. You're always in such a hurry. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. Let me take your coats. Please have a seat. Your apartment is lovely and has a very interesting decor. I'm glad you like it, Mom. Something sure smells good in here. Oh, Andrew, you're always thinking about food. Dinner is ready. I hope you brought your appetite. I made you garlic pork chops and fried rice. I brought an appetite and a half. Can't wait to dive in. Is this cherry cake homemade, Kathy? Of course. I made it myself. Oh, you're a very good cook, dear. It's delicious. Jack is so lucky to have such a talented wife. Thank you. You can say that again, Mom. It's a pity the kitchen is too small and I can't help Kathy with the cooking. There's no room for both of us. Oh... How on earth do you put up with him, Kathy? 
Well, it's early days. We've only been married for three months. Dad, when did you get your first car? I got my driver's license at 17. For three years, I saved money working part-time and was able to get my first car at 20 years old. So you had a part-time job? But you won't let me get one. Well, that's because I had to pay a high price to be able to afford my own car. What do you mean? I spent so much time trying to make money that I almost didn't graduate. Your grades were really that bad? Unfortunately, yes. I wasn't interested in school at all. I didn't even go to college, and I regret that now. Is that why you won't let me work at the mall after school now? Exactly. I don't want you to neglect your school. You have plenty of time to find a part-time job later and buy a car. Right now, you are in your last year of high school, and you should just focus on getting good grades and being admitted to a good college. I see. How many more apples do I need to peel for our apple pie, Mom? We need about six apples, so you need to peel two more apples. You are a very good helper. Grandma will be thrilled to taste our apple pie. Yes, of course, honey. It's her favorite dessert. She loves everything we cook for her because she knows we put in much love and care. Well, she also prepares all kinds of delicious dishes whenever we go to visit her. I'm done. I've peeled six apples. Should I dice them now? Yes, you can dice them. Great! Now you can start to make the sauce. That sounds like fun. Here's the knife, Mom. Be careful with the knife. When you hand a knife to someone, always make sure that the handle of the knife is pointed toward the person to whom you are handing the knife. Like this, Mom? Exactly. Now let's get you started with the sauce. You need to mix this butter with flour, sugar, water, and cinnamon. You should simmer it for about three to four minutes. The cinnamon smells really good. Now mix the sauce with the apples. The pie crust is ready too. Let's add all of the apple mixture into the dough. We should bake it now for 15 minutes. The kitchen smells so good right now. Grandma is here. David, have you noticed the shower head is leaking for several weeks? It's so irritating. Yes, I have. Maybe the shower head needs replacing. Can you take a look at it? Me? Oh, no. I'm not a plumber. I don't even know what's wrong with it. But you're always so good when the TV needs to be fixed. Yeah, well, that's an emergency. This is very important, too. Water tripping constantly can waste hundreds of gallons of water every week. This will cause our electric bill to triple. Do you know that? Well, I haven't thought about that. Okay, then I'm going to search on the internet for some advice and videos on how to repair a shower head that drips. And have you found out about costs for repairing the central heating yet? No, I called around a couple of companies. And? No one was there, so I left them messages. None of them have got back to me yet. Well, if they don't call back soon, you'd better try phoning up a few more places. Thanks for watching. 
and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.